watching reactions. Episode 60. <laughs> Good day, EXO family. Welcome to Haunting Reactions. This is the 60th, 60th episode, and today we are going to be reacting to a good friend of mine who decided to go to the Eagle Hotel. His channel, link, and everything is down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out for yourselves. But this is coming from Hamilton's Haunted Explorations. Please let me know if I said that right. <laughs> I'm not good with big words, but here's what his channel looks like and everything. I want you guys to go check him out, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also do the same for this channel if you could. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this. Twenty on the shot. I feel like your intro makes mine look like a cakewalk. Thank you to my channel members for supporting the channel just a little bit more. Alright guys, we're here at the Eagle Hotel. I'm going to start at the top floor in the ballroom and work our way down until I get to the basement. I will be doing the basement solo and also will be accompanied on the second floor with the historical site, uh, society team. Um, so hopefully we catch some things and well, hope you guys enjoy the little journey. By the way, I would like to know if you guys, uh, if you guys are just starting out doing paranormal activity stuff and going to haunted places and everything, I would advise you to always have someone with you because there's no telling what you're dealing with, especially if the place is actually haunted. There are There is some things out there that will really seriously badly injure you. So, please always keep that in mind. Yeah, wait until you see the rooms. They're pretty cool. Alright. And the ballroom. The ballroom is awesome. Alright. It is a little bit chilly up here. I'm actually gonna set it like this way because earlier we heard that door open right there, the small crawl space. Wait, was it that one? Yeah, let's point it towards there. Okay. All right, you wanna hold this?
man, you should send me the channel link to where you get your background music. I actually like it. <laughs> Here, shut this off. Okay, that's a little bit too... Is there any spirits here in the Eagle Hotel, in the ballroom, that might want to come communicate with me? I do have a device that is in my hand, if you want to come touch it. Um, it has a green light on it. Um, if you interact with it, it will spike and change to different colors. For those of you guys who are wondering what he's holding in his hand, I believe it is an EMF. If you guys don't know what an EMF is, it, see, paranormal activity will put off a certain kind of energy that will allow that light to go off, and it tells you whether or not if it's near, close, far, whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's a little lesson for you guys. Uh... But as far as I can tell, that's what he's holding in his hand. <laughs> Is there any spirits here attached to certain items that might be here in the Eagle Hotel? I don't mean you any harm. Just want to come talk or try to communicate with you. here that is recording audio and video so if you want to say anything it can be picked up I also have a device over there next to the doorway if you want to go ahead and try to touch the top of it to make it light up you can do so
You see, sometimes uh, entities or spirits or ghosts, whatever you want to call them, they are a bit shy. So I'm willing to bet if he left the room right now, and if the Eagle Hotel is haunted, if you guys don't recall or haven't seen the last video that I did of Hamilton's haunted explorations, he accidentally caught something. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's also in the description below. But, uh, nine times out of ten, if the place is haunted, this is the same place as the last video. It's just this time he's actually, uh, investigating it rather than getting the backstory and everything. Which I really like about him because he got the backstory before investigating and let all of us know the backstory of the place and everything like that. Before investigating it, he didn't just go right into it like most people do. But, uh, nine times out of ten, if he left that room, it's, it's gonna go off like crazy. Do you want to try my laser grid stuff? My pen is acting weird because it is kind of cold. I'm just going to spike and I'll go so that way it's a little bit closer to the camera right now. I'm just right here. Was that you that came out and just touched my device that I have in my hand to light it up? If so, can you do it again? You see, the reason that he got up and he moved to a different location and asked to do it again is because as a paranormal investigator, you have to make sure that it wasn't anything around that lit up the EM EMF. EMF stands for electromagnetic frequency. So if it has a magnetic frequency, it can actually light it up, imitating that there's a spirit nearby. So he got up and he moved away and asked for them to do it again, just to double check and make sure. Because... As a paranormal investigator, you don't go to a place, you know, and necessarily prove that it's haunted, but you're there to disprove the haunting. You got to debunk every little thing. If we can't debunk it, we label it haunted. And this place that he is in has been proven to be haunted multiple different times by multiple different ghost hunting groups. Now, I can't say I've necessarily been there, but I can say that a ton of other ghost hunting groups have been, and they have all proven it to be haunted. If so, can you do it again? Is it bothering you that we have the lights on? Where am I going to have these red lights on? Can you possibly come touch this device that I have in my hand again? Can you knock on anything, whistle, make any noise, let me know that you're here? Alright, well we're going to move down 
downstairs. Honestly, if I was you, I'd leave an EVP upstairs and a camera on. And then move downstairs, see what happens when you're not up there. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Alright, well, if there was a spirit up here in the ballroom, I'd like to say thank you if you did try to communicate. If you still want to try to communicate with us, we are going downstairs. Feel free to try to come down and communicate with us down there. to the second uh yeah i think the second floor with i think four different rooms so we will see you guys in a minute all right you guys well that is the end of this episode of haunting reactions thank you all so much for joining in hamilton uh this has been really awesome reacting to your videos and i can't wait to make the next one so just for you i'm gonna make it my big bang out of season three and the next time we will be ha uh, reacting to Hamilton's Haunted Re Explorations will be the very last episode of Season 3. And that would be Episode 66. We are on Episode 60 right now, so we have five more videos. And then we are going to react to Part 3 of Eagle Hotel, Hamilton's Haunted Explorations. Thank you so much for allowing me to react to these videos and uh, give them, giving me the opportunity to, you know, kind of teach newer paranormal investigators on what to do and everything. You are doing amazing work and everything. But if you guys would go check out his channel, link is down in the description below. Subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys want to check out the last episode of Haunting Reactions, Ding, 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 ding. Right up there. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in the next haunting video. Lighters.